Dennis. It's only a dream. It's not a dream. It's a memory. And it makes me sick. Now, focus. Wait. You're floating again. Weightless. A cipher. Relax. I'm in hell. Forget it. Abandon that memory. It's unproductive. Go to Wonderland. Forget it. Go to Wonderland. I'd rather not, Doctor. My Wonderland's shattered. It's dead to me. Your preference doesn't signify, girl. Now, Alice, where are you? I'm sailing with a friend. Hmm. It's different somehow. Things have changed. Change is good. It's the first link in the chain of forgetting. What's happening? Are you mad? I'm not mad. Rabbit. That's not right. What's he doing? Is something wrong? Something wrong? Robert! No, not that! Don't struggle, Alice. Let the new wonder emerge. Pollution. Corruption. It's killing me. Wonderland is destroyed. My mind is in ruins. Forget it, Alice. Block that dream. Wake at the sound. There, Alice. Better now, aren't we? My head's exploded and there's a steam hammer in my chest. Yes, well, the cost of forgetting is high. My memories make me vomit. What can I... Remember other things. I want to forget. Who would choose to be alone, imprisoned by their broken memories? I'll set you free, Alice. Memory is a curse more often than a blessing. So you've said many times, and... And I will say again, the past must be paid for. Now, before our next session, collect those pills from our high street chemist. Very well, Doctor. It's my turn to forget, Alice. Now, Charlie, your pa was hung for killing your ma who beat you. Let's forget that, shall we? The past is dead, Charlie. Miserable hovel, the family that wasn't, they never were. You're home now, Charlie. Relax. You're floating. Listen. The loo smells awful. Worse than your room? Ollie pinched me smalls. Where bloomers? Our bed's a mess. Monday's wash day. What's wrong there? Can't find the door. Doctor, do you right? Still sick in the head? I'm past a cure. Terminal condition. Wasting doctor's time. I deserve my bitter tears. Want some?
ten years in the loony bin. No, Ma, no relation. She's an orphan. Mr. Payne had no idea how humble a home could be. If not for my drawings and the photographs, this could pass for my room at the asylum. Doctor's pet. Too good for the asylum. Mad as a hatter without the charm. Killed her family. Who'd want her? Another day, a different dream, perhaps. Oh, this thing is killing me, babe. I call work noble, bastards. Can't come this way, love. Uh, go round. Nice side effect, you could build a flat on it. Changing nappies. Better than being a dog's body for orphan. You can make someone happy. Save the world. Ten minutes at a time. Excuse me. 
Excuse me, sir. You look like a discerning gent. All right. Fuck you, then. You can't fucking afford it anyway. <laughs> Seems following furry creatures into dark holes has become a habit. I hope it's not a vice. Stars and garters, Alice Little. Slumming again, are we? Nurse Witless. What luck. Twice in as many months. Out on your own? You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. I don't think so. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. Still a mess. No surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bumby won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. The fire, her memory. I deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bombay's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Ooh, like some <laughs> pigeons, though. She's doled out the odd pound or two. But what I know is worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Her to say, all oh, died on my account. I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Cheap. I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. Does she can of remember her name? What I heard. Nurse Witless, do you mean to harm me? To send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I've a first you could photograph. Need a drink? One mouth needs washing.
Very upsetting journey. But I'm rid of Pris, or whatever she's become. At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. About time, too, Alice. Blasted cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. When you're not on edge, you're taking up too much space. You're no help at all. But you know I can be. I'll frighten myself. When necessary, thanks very much. I was hoping to escape from all that. Abandon that hope. A new law reigns in this wonderland, Alice. It's very rough justice all round. We're at risk here. You be on your guard. You're part frog, Alice, I swear. You jump so well. If you leap from that table again, Alice, I'll expire. You're two times too reckless, my girl. Amanita muscaria, Alice, is merely a stinky toadstool. A spongy consistency, but poisonous. down this road before. Good things in small packages? Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. My God! I'm shrinking in this potion! Sh shall I disappear? Almost. But the upside is that while smaller, you can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger self. Ah, I get it, quite. Forests for the trees, just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective.
Look how small she's become, all curled up. She's barely there, a vixen in her hidey hole. The vorpal blade is swift and keen, and always ready for service. I've not come back here looking for a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. Flight or fight implies a permanent choice, but flight often just means putting off the fight to another day. Choose your battles wisely, Alice.
use of evil in a single monstrosity. Flower's purpose is simple and immutable. Human purpose is fickle, because it is a slave to memory. Memories must be strictly managed, Alice. Unproductive ones must be eliminated. It's you again, Alice. You may approach. Why would I do that? You want to eat me? Yes, well, you taught me manners, and I've lost my taste for mad women. Strictly a poor sign diet for me. Everything's better with bacon, don't you agree? Of course you do. Now, there are pig snouts scattered about. I heard a few behind the house. Go fetch them for me. But take care for the pests that block your way. Pepper them up if they do. They need spice, and you're just the dish. <laughs> girl to season them for me. You'll find that grinder serviceable. Why not season your own pig parts? Matter of priorities. My alabaster skin needs protection from the disgusting creatures running amok amidst the environs. But one gets peckish. Look, all you have to do is listen for the oink, then shoot the snout. You may like the results. I certainly will.
Thank you so much for the snout. Now go away. Finish your suit, girls. Bovine juveniles gave their all for it.
The railway running through Wonderland sounds charming, but inefficient. Noise and smoke, like snips and snails, perhaps. Best to forget that train. A mock turtle as conductor? Oh, no, I don't think that will do at all. mechanical malfunctions, this disaster is either his doing or his epitaph.
could have happened that way, Alice. You remember poor Mr. Crook? Died, didn't he? Dr. Wilson rejects spontaneous combustion, but I trust Mr. Dickens. <laughs> 